Welcome back everyone, I hope you are all fine and I wish you a happy new year. In the last two parts we defined the stuff fishing and we did set up the server where we are going to put the fake page. In this last part we will do the dirty work and at the end of it you will see how easy and effective this method is. So as you can see here I have my no IP ready and my WAMP server ready to use. One small thing before I start, I want you to check the port if it's open or not. If you receive the screen success, that means that your port is ready to use. If not, make sure you open a port in your router. Great, right here I have a program that I used in a last tutorial. You can check it in the description or you'll find it on the video right here. It's a great program to make any fake page of any website you want. In this tutorial, I'll choose to make a fake page of a Yahoo website. So I already made it and I will copy it and take it to the WAMP directory which is in WAMP WW and I will paste it here. Now, if I try to access this website using my IP, I will go to my router address and that's totally fine because I'm using my IP address as a host of the server which means I can't access my website using this router but any computer using any other IP router in the world will be able to see the fake page so if we, if we want to see our website from the point of view of the victim we can use a proxy that we used in the last tutorial let's paste the IP here and click on surf and as you can see our website works perfectly so I will try to make my login in this fake page so you can see it's working so I will put TB tutorials and password I will type for example it works so it works and sign in now if I back to my web directory you can see the username and the password it works so our fake page is working perfectly on the server however we can send the IP address or this link to the user it will be so ugly and obvious that we are trying to hack them so what we are going to do we are going to change a little file in windows that you will find in C windows uh, system 32 system 32 where it is here it is system 32 drivers etc and hosts this is the file that we need i will make a copy of it and paste it in the desktop so i will open it with a notepad let me close this one so you can open it with notepad plus plus or with a notepad so we'll make a few changes here a user should have a host page like this so i will copy this ip and paste it here just at the end of the file and in front of it I will type yahoo.com since we are hacking a yahoo page you can add anything you want like mail.yahoo.com and you can add any number of lanes you want you have to copy it and make another copy of it and just in front of it add www and we are done so I save it and replace it with the original file that any user should have so I paste it here so I will try to go to yahoo now yahoo.com and as you can see we are tricking the browser and by changing these lines we are telling the browser hey if you are typing yahoo.com don't go to yahoo go to this ip instead and that's the ip where we are putting the fake page and that's all the idea behind desktop phishing now as you can see we can see it since as i told you this computer is using this ip so any other computer using any other router would be able to see it now we can tell the victim open your host's file and change it this way that will be so obvious so there is a trick to do and we will see it right now so first of all let's back and put the host file as we uh, found it so 
I will delete these lines it will back as we found it I will save it and let's replace it so we are back to square one where we find the host file now let's restore the old changes so uh, this is the infected file we will save it and we will open it with mirror that I'm sure that all of you are familiar with so uh, check zip and create sfx file advanced sfx options so he will put the path of the host file so I will copy it and paste go to modes hide all and update overwrite all files so ok ok so we find this executable file let's take a last look to the original file so as you can see it's working double click here and let's check it again and it works like a charm and you know what's the best part of it if we scan this file with any antivirus in the world it will not detect anything so you have no risk of discovering this uh, method and as you can see this is all that you need to perform a desktop phishing as you can see simple effective and not detectable by anything in the world now there is a way to optimize desktop phishing for instance you can change the icon of the host file and you can blend it with any other file but you may risk being uh, detected by antiviruses that's it for the part 3 and all the tutorial of this dog fishing. If you like it, please leave a like. If you have any problem, leave a comment and share it with your friends. So, so this channel will get bigger and bigger and you will receive better quality tutorials in the future. Thanks again. Stay safe and goodbye.